listening. The Republicans are doing everything they can to kill Obamacare, but the criticism has been that they're not offering alternatives. But Congressman Tom Price says that he does have a better plan, and he joins us now. Congressman, last week, uh, your old colleague Newt Gingrich hey, said the GOP had, quote, zero, zero ideas to replace Obamacare. Is he wrong? <laughs> Well, certainly he's wrong, and I had a conversation with Newt, or I communicated with Newt, because he actually cited my plan during some of the debates, uh, in the presidential debates last year. Look, the, 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 the bottom line is you don't have to put Washington in charge to solve the health care challenges we've got. H.R. 2300 is the bill that, that we've off offered that gets folks covered, solves the insurance challenges, and saves hundreds of billions of dollars, does it all without putting Washington in charge or raising your taxes. It can be done. It's called patient-centered health care. Patients and families and doctors making medical decisions, not Washington, D.C. So, 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 Representative Price, would it be smart then for the party to sort of rally around the, your plan, and, and I don't know if there are alternatives out there, and sort of promote that as much as they promote, uh, you know, uh, defund and delay? In other words, you know, yeah. you've been labeled the party of no, that seems to resonate with the general public. Wouldn't it be smarter to go on the offensive with this alternative? Uh, I, absolutely. I agree. Uh, look, the president continues to get out there and say that the Republicans have no plan when in, when in fact he knows that there are positive solutions that embrace patient centered health care. So I've been trying to, to get uh, my colleagues in the House and, and in the Senate as well to embrace a plan. It doesn't have to be my plan, but we need to be putting something out there that says, yes, you can get individuals health coverage that they want not that Washington forces them to buy. You can solve the insurance challenges, two biggest ones being portability and pre-existing. Those are simple to solve, and you don't have to put Washington in charge. And again, you can save hundreds of billions of dollars. And we ought to be doing that positively so that the American people can see the contrast. The President Obama wants Washington to run your health coverage. We want patients and families and doctors to run your health care. And, you know, and, and sir, I, I think you're right in, with respect to this also being sort of the central battle over, for the next two election cycles. Exactly what kind of a nation will we be? Will we be one that with the individual right. bootstraps where Main Street makes the decisions? Or are we going to cede everything to the executive branch from Main Street's rights to even congressional authority? I mean, that's what it feels like the battle lines are drawing up right now. No, you're absolutely right. And it's not just true in health care. It's true in all of the other arenas that you've been talking about already this morning. Who should be running the show? Should it be the dynamic of the, of, of the market, an economic uh, freedom, an individual opportunity and responsibility society? Or are we going to put Washington in charge? We're going to put the central government in charge of every aspect of our life. If we move in that direction, you, one can do that. Nations have done that. But that doesn't result in, in right. uh, more dreams being realized and the kind of vibrancy of an economy or the kind of health care that people want that real people want. Absolutely. I think you could actually say history has taught us that it never works. Uh, before I let you go, I have to ask a uh, congressman about the violence in Egypt that continues to escalate. Should we or should we not stop sending money to Egypt? No, what we've got to do is define American interest. And American interest is to make certain that the Camp David Accords are adhered to and that the Suez Canal remains open. As long as that is the case, that's American interest. And that's where we need to be pointing our efforts right now. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And uh, Thanks, yeah, Charles. get your colleagues to push the positive message of an alter alternative plan. That's what the people right. I think want to hear. I appreciate your time and your plan, by the way. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Well, the